Mitchell Tenpenny. Mitchell, what's up, dude? What's up, Bobby? How you been, bro? Uh, I've been pretty good. We had the studio all set up for you today. You were going to come in and perform for us. Uh, what happened? What, what happened? Man, my, my brother, he's my bass player. He's sick. Uh, just test it. He doesn't have COVID. It's all good. Um, but we just want to be as safe as we can, you know, during these times. So I, I appreciate it. Hopefully we can reschedule some other time and get in there because uh, I'd like to see you guys. But thank you all for doing this. Dang. Eddie, can you show Mitchell how we have the stage all set up for him? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Look at this, Mitchell. <laughs> yes, look at this. Wait, no, bad. The, look at the stage. All those <laughs> seats there. Get the mic. We had special I microphones. I know. I know. Dang. Dang. Man, I'm, I'm bummed, man. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're I'm bummed, too. We'll, that, get, but... we'll get it rescheduled. But Mitchell's on. Hey, Mitchell, I was reading about your athletic prowess back in the day. And, you know, like a lot of, well, like some country music stars, they're pretty good athletes as well. I feel like you get glossed over a little bit. I was looking at your stats Whenever you, you play college football, like you were pretty good. Why'd you quit and go go chase music instead? Man, uh, you know, playing music till like three in the morning and then get it up for five a.m. workouts just didn't fit the uh, fit the agenda when I got to college. It just wasn't wasn't for me. Mitchell Ward, number thirty two, <laughs> linebacker. That's right. Tight That's end. That's right. Three two. Six foot, two hundred and five pounds. I mean, listen, this guy had real stats here, like. How's the head? Like, you still have all your memories? And, and it's, I mean, you played a position where you get bopped around a lot. It's funny you just said that. Also, six foot was with cleats. <laughs> um, but I was, I was literally just talking about, yeah, I definitely got a lot of concussions. It's uh, it's hard to remember a lot of lyrics these days, but uh, it's been Are you uh, serious? Like, that's a real thing? No, I don't think it's from that. I did get a lot of concussions growing up. It was just a different time. Uh, you know, I, I remember, you know, what would what, what be a concussion today, you know, them putting you back in the game. And, I mean, that's nobody's fault at the time. We didn't know. We've learned a lot since then. But, yeah, I definitely had had a few. Mitchell Tenpenny's on with us. Is it true the first time you heard yourself on the radio that you thought it was just a CD in your car playing your song? <laughs> yeah, it was in Nashville, uh, in my truck. It's because, you know, I listen to so many mixes all the time, and it just kind of caught me off guard. It was one of those crazy moments. You thought the station was just, or you thought you were playing your single, and then you heard it. How, when did you when did you go? Wait, this is not actually my CD player. Uh, well, I mean, when I looked down, it was a radio, and like it does on the CD, it doesn't say my name, and I saw it come across Mitchell Tenpenny, and then it, I don't know, it just kind of triggered for me. And uh, then I, you know, I called my mom, and we all, you know, had a good little cry, and it was, I don't know, one of those things you just don't forget, man. Do you still have a CD player in your truck? Like that's the question I wondered. <laughs> I do still have a CD player. I got the same truck, so uh, I haven't bought a new truck yet. Maybe one day. The new single is called "Truth About You" from Mitchell Tenpenny. I'm assuming <laughs> that you were going to play that in here today. Yeah, man, I, I was hoping to. I was hoping to get the chance, but you know, be, be honest though. How good was it going to be? Like, be truthful. <laughs> <laughs> man, you know I was going to give you everything I got, man. Last time you had me sing a nursery rhyme, so I, I was coming in. <laughs> That's because was, you're was, such a good singer. I feel like you're one of the, <laughs> the more underrated singers in Nashville as far as when people talk about pure vocalists. Like, um, sometimes you, you get passed over when people should put you in that conversation. Don't you feel like that? Well, I appreciate that, Bobby. Thank you, man. I, I do. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I was coming in with that. I was bringing in my brother who sings harmonies, and we were gonna, we were just going to give it all to you today. So, Oh, man, was I going to cry? Be it. honest. Was I going to be so <laughs> moved by this performance? I probably was in tears. Well, have you ever been broken up with someone that went talked, you know, talked a little smack afterwards? I don't That's think that's what the song's I, about. I, I think I would be. Yeah. Angry. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It would have been an emotion. So this song, which you wrote, by the way, is about what again? Yeah, it's a you know, it's about when you break up and necessarily, you know, people sometimes want to have a better story after the breakup. So they go around town and they say things that might not have necessarily happened. And the hook is, you know, you quit telling lies about me. I won't tell the truth about you. Dang. Come no. on. <laughs> come Got on. Him. Okay. Yeah. All right. We, we, where, where are we pulling this from? Who, who comes up with this in the writer? <laughs> oh, man. We, uh, yes, we're, we're going to, it's a bunch of cumulative. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a diff <laughs> relationships in the past. Okay. <laughs> When we went and played a song, I was talking to Mitchell, and I was like, hey, you and Mitchell are still together, right? I didn't know. I didn't know if to bring it up while we were, you know, doing the interview live. But you and Megan Patrick still together. Yes, it's great. Couldn't be better. You're saying that song is not about her. <laughs> Nothing to do with her at all. <laughs> I promise. I, I needed to hear that because I was feeling a little weird. I was like, I don't know what to do here. 
I'm hey, like, I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah. No, how's, it's just um, a story. How's 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 love? How's the love life? How are you and Megan doing? <laughs> Man, we're doing great. It's been awesome. You know, we got to spend more time with each other the last year and a half than we ever had. I think that put a lot of people to the test, but we came out alive and uh, and stronger than ever. And you know, starting to get back on the road, and she's doing her thing. Um, you know, you miss you miss them a little bit more after you uh, you know had to spend all that time together. Honestly, probably we got to spend more time together than we would if, if this never happened. Probably in the next ten years. So yeah. we got a lot of good. We learned a lot about each other. It was all good. Are you still using a bidet at your house? <laughs> yeah, I still got the bidets. <laughs> I'm a big bidet guy. I can't get enough of a bidet. It's 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 very clean, and people like to. Po- and we, I've been doing endorsement for a bidet. Like the bidet <laughs> rocks, right? We yeah, we give it away on our M10 days of Christmas. We I mean not a used one. It's it's a brand new one. But yes, we we love uh we love our bidets here in the Ten Penny House. <laughs> All right, Mitchell Ten Penny's here. He's got you know a whole new EP called Midtown Diaries. Eight songs, which is basically the limit for an EP. Like one more song, Mitchell, you had to call it an album. You know, it's borderline there. Yeah, I know, man. And, and we're already working on the record. We just got so many songs, and I'm just trying to, you know, put out as much music as possible. The new song is Truth About You, which we just played. Uh, Mitchell's all over. You go to <laughs> website, and you're, you're all the way on the road till December 18th. It is, it's good to talk yeah. to you, my friend. Congratulations on the new song and the new music. And hopefully when everybody gets well, we'll have you back in studio. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate your time, brother. Be what safe the, out there. What was the one cover you were going to do that was going to blow our minds? You can make something up. Just say something. Well, <laughs> no. you, you were going to be in here. What were you going to do? Uh, probably Man in the Mirror. Oh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that would have been a great one. That would have been a great one. Okay. All right. There he is, Mitchell Tenpenny. Follow him, by the way, on Instagram and TikTok. M, the number 10, and then Penny. Yeah. Get it? Got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, Mitchell, Got it. Talk to you, buddy. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Have a good day.